Hello, Disney Infinity Trainers, and welcome back to... Whoa there, my character... Not my character review series. I just got done recording all of my character review videos. But welcome to my Let's Build a Toy Box series here on iStarly TV. Now, it's been a while. I've definitely missed this series, but I figured that with some new characters coming out today, I did do some character reviews of these characters, so if you want to check out the playlist. But with these new characters, I thought, hey, that might be a good time to kind of you know, whoa there, <laughs> to to bring back this series so that um, we can showcase some new characters building in the toy box, <laughs> if that if that adds anything. So Ultron is very, very cool. Let's go ahead and find Jar Jar Binks. Oh, I just missed him. Hey, Jar Jar. <laughs> okay. All right. Our options here. Reasons why I haven't worked on the toy box in a while is because I don't know exactly what to do. Now we have our tomorrow here. We have Can Diego over there, right here. We have Donald's apartment, which is up there. And we have Frontierland, which is way on the other side over here. That is four, well, that's one, two, three separate uh, additional toy box doors. So you're you're able to have up to 10. So we might as well keep adding to those, right? And so one of the things I've actually been wanting to add is over here in the arcade. In the back of the arcade, I wanted to add something that's a little, uh, I guess, I don't know, maybe secret. Maybe we we have, a, like I guess, a back entrance here. I wanted to add a Pizza Planet level. I've always wanted to do this, and I think that this would be a pretty good time. To go ahead and try that out. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I just wanted to start in the main street area because I haven't I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> I haven't played the, this level in a while, and so you know, why not start in the beginning? So uh, we'll put a door here, maybe we'll add more later on. Maybe some, you know, character here. Probably the Pizza Planet truck, we'll put it right here just to kind of add to the mystique of it. But let's get on with it, right? So let's see. We're going to go ahead and set this to a new toy box. A new empty toy box. This is going to be Pizza Planet. So we're kind of jumping right ahead here. So I'm not done with Can Diego. I'm not done with Tomorrowland. I'm not done with Adventureland or Frontierland. I haven't even started Adventureland. I'm not done with Donald's apartment. Um, but you know, if I ever, if you want me to go back to any of those, definitely let me know, and I would be happy to go back. I will eventually go back to each of those and kind of work on them. They are still all works in progress, but I just, you know, want to kind of spread out what I work on because I've been working on Can Diego for several episodes as well as Donald's apartment. So I want to kind of mix things up here. So. Uh, require confirmation, sure. Locator tag, uh, we won't do that for now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and enter Pizza Planet. Actually, I need to save it first. <laughs> so sorry about that. But how is everyone doing? And as always, do remember that the new characters came out today. So if you'd like to check out my character review playlist, if you want to see some gameplay. I know that when I started getting more serious about Disney Infinity, when I started really getting it towards the end of 2.0 there were certain characters that I, there was a lot of characters i didn't have and i really wanted to kind of see gameplay of those characters what they look like in the game and what they do and so i found videos like that to be very helpful and so that's why i like doing the character review videos of all these characters for 3.0 because i feel like it'll be helpful to players um you know to see that so episode I'm recording on the PlayStation 4 which means I am limited to 15 minute videos so unfortunately this is not going to be a super long video it's more of an introduction to Pizza Planet but now that the game is saved let's go right ahead and jump right in so I have some plans I mean I don't know exactly how I want the layout to be for this for this level However, I, I do know what kind of decorations and things I want to use. So one of the episodes I will be using some interior toys to put in here because the interior has a lot of toys that would be useful for a kind of 
restaurant arcade type of type of level but i definitely want the the floor to be the alien planet floor this looks like it could be like carpet in a galactic type of you know pizza restaurant slash video game arcade type of you know setting and so i think that this would be very fitting and naturally the underside of this same terrain is very uh useful very helpful for building a kind of a space themed uh world and and level because as you can tell right here see it looks like kind of like stars and constellations i think that's really awesome looking so we're definitely going to be using that but like i said i'm not sure exactly how i want this layout to be so we're going to try some experiments here i think there are other types of um ways to do this but for right now we're going to start out it'll it'll have an arcade area with a lot of video games and then it'll definitely have a restaurant area where you can sit down and eat your pizza and stuff like that maybe i'll do some maybe i'll try to do some type of like animatronic like little kind of band like you know pretty reminiscent of chuck e cheese <laughs> Uh, where you have the, you know, the animatronic characters playing music. Maybe I'll try to implement something similar to that. But um, let's see, the entrance area, I think we'll enter in a certain area, like maybe right here or something. So we'll enter and then you'll walk into, this is this will be the arcade area. Not sure how large it needs to be. Uh, we'll put two there just to kind of try that out for now. And then, of course, the pizza area. Uh, the, the dining area, I guess, could be over here. And then maybe on this side, there could be some other type of... Uh, I'm not sure what that would be just yet. So, Pretty cool. So I am playing as Ultron. I, I probably pointed that out already, but he's pretty cool. I really like him a lot. I'm really liking him. Wow, he got pretty mad. The fact that he flies is very, very helpful. So this will be the entrance and uh, you'll kind of go in and i think for the entrance kind of area i i will try some other terrain maybe i didn't want to, i didn't mean to set the theme for that Let's see just trying out different terrains yeah this could be i mean it looks kind of grand <laughs> maybe i could do like a casino this looks like it could be like a casino kind of thing so maybe not only is it pizza planet but it's attached to some kind of casino is that too much <laughs> All right, we'll we'll try that. We'll try something along those lines. So we're gonna we're gonna extend that a little bit, and it looks like yeah, it looks like this is going over a little bit. So we need to kind of fix that. I guess that's good. And then we're adding this, and adding that. And so that means that the floor in the entrance area is gonna be is gonna be a little different, I guess. It doesn't have to be, but it kind of adds some, like, d variation and stuff. So this will be kind of like... Wow. <laughs> Maybe this will be some kind of, I don't know, casino or gambling room. I don't know. It'll be something different. But this blue area out here is the gaming room with all the arcade games. And that's kind of... I mean, that's one of the main uh, attractions of Pizza Planet type of place. And so for the flooring over here, for the dining area, I was thinking of doing it the Death Star floor. Because, you know, usually in a dining area, you're going to have, like, tile and stuff like that. So that seems like it could be fitting. There is another texture. Well, it's not a texture. It's a basic block um, kind of foundation kind of thing. And it is the... Um, it's, like, black and white checkerboard. And if you've seen me do the gameplay of the uh, Disney Infinity Team's Fozzie's Nightmare Toy Box, which is kind of like a spin-off of Five Nights at Freddy's, they use that texture and it looks pretty fitting for for this type of setting but again we're we're gonna you know try different things here uh princess kida's world this could also be a pretty cool uh floor for this type of world so we're gonna try to go ahead and start off with that and see how that looks but we still have the theme which is good and let's try to set the walls now well, let's see i guess that's a good height for the for the world and i'm not sure if the walls if the wall kind of same for for every section of this but um you know we're gonna try it out let's see so we can we're gonna do like that sure and then there ah, this puzzle's fitting together pretty nicely well except right here this is where it's gonna start uh you know i'm gonna need to add more there 
I guess we'll add it like that. And then right here. And this is all subject to change. So I am glad, I am happy to be back doing the Let's Build a Toy Box series. Like I said, I have missed it. But I was doing the Community Toy Box series for Halloween. So that took up a lot of time. And then I was also doing... Um, Disney Infinity games. We had missed a few weeks of the Disney Infinity games, so I definitely wanted to to make sure we try to finish that series, you know, when we, when we can, or at least round one of that series, because it's going to be a very long series, so I don't want it to go too much longer than it needs to, but, um, but yeah, and that plus, you know, a few other things have taken up the time recently, so I haven't been able to get around to this, so... Uh, what I plan to do, though, is establish some kind of a schedule for the channel just so that you, you can know what to expect and when to expect certain certain videos from different series. Because I know a lot of people like watching this video, this series, and I, I definitely enjoy doing it, and I, I don't plan on ever stopping this, but um, it'll be good for you all to know when I'm going to be uploading Let's Build a Toy Box and when I'll be uploading Disney Infinity so I will establish a schedule also it seems like a lot of people have been showing interest in watching me play uh, Splatoon and Lego Dimensions and some other games so I will also be adding some additional gameplay to the channel that's not just Disney Infinity so um, if you like Splatoon if you like um, Lego Dimensions Pokemon Minecraft stuff like that Super Mario Kart or Mario Kart 8, I don't know why I called it Super Mario Kart, Smash Bros, stuff like that. If you enjoy that type of gameplay, well, you're in luck. I'll, I'll start uploading that fairly soon. In addition to Disney Infinity. So be on the lookout. All right. Okay, so actually let's go ahead and do it like that. That should be fine. And then just cover all of this. Nope, there is something missing there. It's okay, I'll have to cover that with another piece. And if there's ever any gameplay for other games that you would like to see on the channel, definitely let me know. I'm definitely always open to um, playing new games. I, I, I really have been wanting to, to do new games. But um, like I said, all these different Disney Infinity series that I've been doing have kind of taken up a lot of time. But um, but I'm excited to do more. Okay, so let's see. This is how it'll look. And we're going to cover everything or, you know, close up some of the gaps so it looks more natural. But um, basically, you'll enter here. You know, there will be some kind of like welcoming kind of, I don't know, something like that. We'll, we'll put a lot of decorations so it doesn't look bare in here. And then you'll go ahead and walk... Up ahead in this, the blue area is the gaming room. That's where you play all the video games, the arcade games. And then maybe over here there's going to be something. I still have no idea what, but maybe there will be like a ticket redemption booth or something along those lines. Who knows, some bathrooms maybe. And then of course over here you're going to be eating your pizza. Because what good is Pizza Planet without the pizza, right? Of course. So... So, you know, I always ask for this, but if you have any suggestions for what what I should add to this Pizza Planet level, what you think would make it feel a lot more like a Pizza Planet, let me know, please, because um, I don't have, you know, 100% plans for it just yet. Um, there, I know there are multiple ways I could go with this, and so I would be very interested in seeing what you all think about... Um, about what I could add and stuff like that. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing from you all. So yeah, let me know what, what I should add to the Pizza Planet. And also let me know which other levels you would like to see me revisit. You know, we again, we have Can Diego, Tomorrowland, we have Frontierland, we have Adventureland, which I still haven't started building yet, so that's up for grabs. Donald's Apartment, and let me know if there are other, you know, Things that you would like to see me build in my toy box world. Because I'm, you know, I'm definitely open to a lot of different things. So It looks like the time is actually just about running out. So this was just an introductory video to the Pizza Planet. And I hope that you enjoyed. And I hope that you were as excited as I am for this series to come back. So thank you for watching. And check the description for all previous episodes.